Alright, uh, what's going on? Um, a caller called in, stated there is a bomb at the Luminary Hotel, and then disconnected. Oh, Lord have mercy. Alright, um, anything on callback? Voicemail on callback, it went to a Peyton. Police were able to ping the caller's location to a nearby motel and quickly responded. I'm going to take this out before my explosive summer. You know what? Right. I'm going to talk to you about that. Uh, you want to talk to me or not? All right. Just, um, I'm going to read you your rights, all right? Because we are here involved in a criminal matter, and just in case you see something that, that could incriminate yourself, I don't want to violate it. This is Detective Southwood of the Fort Myers Police Department. Today's date is April 30th, 2021. The time is 10.44 p.m. I'm currently at 13020 Cleveland Avenue, which is the Riverview Inn. Uh, present with me is Mr. Payton. That's P-E-Y-T-O-N. Wayne, middle, middle name Wayne, W-A-Y-N-E. Last name Johnson, J-O-H-N-S-O-N. Date of birth. Mr. Johnson, can you just go ahead and confirm uh, your social security form? And um, before we get, I'm going to read your rights. All right, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions and to have them with you during your questioning. Okay. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. And if you decide to answer any question without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to the lawyer. Do okay. you understand each of your rights that I've explained to you? Yep. All right. And uh, have you requested an attorney from anybody yet? All right. I'll do that. All right. Sounds good. So, uh, what, what what have you done tonight? What you been up to, basically? Pretty much, I was uh, ocean. Walk around a little bit. Come back, took a shower, that's about it. So. Have you been here for a while? Yeah, I've been here three months. In Lee County? Yeah. What brought you? Uh, Lee Drywall. I was well, I'm sorry? Lee Drywall. Lee, Lee Drywall. Yeah. And where are you from originally? Uh, Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah. Okay. What brought you down here? Okay. Have you made any phone calls tonight? Yeah. No? My phone doesn't work. So. It doesn't work at all? Okay, so have you had your phone on today at all? Uh, I had it on just a little while ago. And I wasn't on service, so I'd come back over here to get on Wi Fi and check my Facebook. So when I got in the uh, shower, that was it. First time it's been off, so I don't even know if it's charged now. Okay. Do you, um, and so you didn't make any phone calls to 911? No? You sure? Yeah. Right. Do, do you know the passcode to your phone? Yeah, I know the passcode on it. Uh, what is it? I don't have a passcode on it. They didn't flip it up. Oh, it just opens up? Yeah. You don't need a passcode or nothing like that? Yeah. No, I don't. Have it. It, it's all right. <coughs> is the phone off right now? Uh, yeah. Has okay. no service. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can still dial out the 911, right? Yeah, yes. Have you made any phone? Most of them. Have you made any phone calls to 911 today? No. You sure? Positive. Not even accidental? No. No? Positive. Positive. Okay. So, if I were to play your voice, do you think you'd recognize it? Yeah. Yeah? All right, I'm going to play, I'm going to play a recording from 911 okay. for you that came from your phone, all right? All right. Maybe, has anybody else had your phone at all? I don't know what. All right, I just want to make sure. This one of the girls in there have had it. I was in the shower. Well, they don't sound like it, remember? Come on. I swear to God, it don't. I have not made a 911 call, though, I swear. So 
So how would we get that phone call from your phone? I have no idea, bro. <laughs> you don't know? I am not going to call in a damn ball for it. Matter of fact, I built a limb there. You leave did? With, uh, leave your eyeball, yeah. That is crazy, man. Such swear, a coincidence, huh? Swear to God it is. And then, and then we traced uh, your number right back to here. The number that called 911. That is weird. And you're the only one who had possession of that cell phone. Yep. 100%. 100%. What a guy. Sounded a lot like you. Same well, southern draw. Well, you can play it again, but I'm telling you, I swear to God, I swear to God. Okay. I mean, that's automatic going to jail. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just I trying mean, to figure out why you would do it. Yeah. Maybe you had a good reason. Why the hell would I want to call in a bomb for it? I mean, I got that I'm in a freaking bag. <laughs> I don't know. You got a. Maybe you got something against the luminary or because you did the work there? No. No? You sure? Your no. boss maybe? I don't know. I'm going to have something against the boss. You made a bunch of money off of the luminary? No. I thought you said you were only here. The luminary has been done for more than yeah, three I'll months. Yeah, I told you before the coronavirus. Yeah. I lived here for a year and a half, two years. So at 81, uh, like I said, 8105 Country Road. Then we moved to... Uh, Matter of fact, downtown at Forest, above the uh, bowling down there. Cut down there for like almost a year, I think. Then we moved to Miami and then back to town. Then to Tennessee. What service provider do you use? Uh, Metro. Metro. Alright. Um, I mean, you're, just, you're really just going to lie to me about this? I just want to die. That was crazy shit ever, but I swear to God, I did not call him a damn bomb for it. Alright. That'll conclude the interview. Time is tough. Alright, thanks, man. Exactly. <laughs> About like 10 pounds. I sang that shit on Saturday Night Live the other night. 10 pounds of explosives. Missing from the military. Are you currently homeless? Uh, well, yeah, I was out for well, I was going back home in the morning. Where's, yeah, where's home? Uh, like I said, Bolivar. Bolivar? Bolivar, Tennessee. Pretty sure bus station right over the bridge. Walked right by the luminary. Weird. You walked by the luminary today? No, I haven't even been over the bridge. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I thought I might go by, back to Nashville and see my daughter. Right. I haven't talked to her in a while. How you doing, man? I'm Gloria. Hey. What they do? Throw your stuff out? No, it's just what I got. Huh? It's just what I got left in the bag. I so you packed it up? Yeah, because we thought we were going downtown. So we sit out here for like 45 minutes. Oh, so. you mean with the with the, yeah. the deputies? Yeah. They gave you a chance to pack your stuff up? No, it was already in the bag. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, they're nice, right? Yeah. You heard the recording though, right? Yeah. Uh, I heard it, I didn't make a man one more call. I weird. It's crazy. Well, your phone phone will show us that. Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah. So, uh, that's what it is. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. So, these ladies, uh, the people that were staying with you, they, you don't, do you know them well? Do you have any friends here? No. No? Like, if you have to go anywhere, there's nobody you want to leave your stuff with? Yeah, matter of fact, I was going to go to the bus station. Take it. Take it with me, yeah. Okay. Alright, we're still trying to figure out what's going to happen next, okay? I will take a ride to the bus station if I'll give a ride. Yeah. Well, we'll figure out where we're giving you a ride to. We'll be all just. <coughs> yeah. Don't try to run or anything, because this guy is nowhere. fast as hell. Shit, I ain't going nowhere. Oh, yeah. Is y'all renting their room over there? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You don't got no shoes, man? Yeah, I got some boots on. Oh, okay. I just got out of the shower. And then you know, came knocking? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you want to get out of the What bus station were you going to go to? Oh, uh, down there for a while. Yeah. Matter of fact, I just called the, called the U.S. Marshal Service in Kentucky to talk about the Louisville investigation they got. I got some family from there in Louisville. Yeah. Uh, they wouldn't help you, though? Oh, he wanted to talk to a certain investigator, he was in. 
got in touch back with my mom. My Aunt Mary, she's still in there, her sister, my old lady Jan. So, yeah. Some shit happened over there a while back. So you're from Tennessee? Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. What, how, how long you been at Thunder Oh, yeah. week. Did you listen to the recording that he had? Yeah, I didn't listen to it. I'm not sure. I heard it. Anything tragic happened lately? Anything that's got you down, you know, said or whatever? Have you only stayed here? Did you try to stay anywhere else? No, I mean, when I left Chuck and Peggy's, uh, like I said, it was a couple of days before I got my check, so I went to the bar. I think I stayed out of Brett's one night. Brett Field. All right. And then, <clears throat> so, let me tell you this. Have they told you anything about, like, any of that? So, the person who made the phone call, right, to the hotel down there, you know what hotel I'm talking about? Did they tell you that? Okay. So there's a bomb threat called into a hotel, right? It came from your phone number, and it came from an 11 meter radius to this hotel. Okay. okay. So, something's not quite adding up here, is it? And then the person on the recording has a country accent, right? Yep. So everybody I've talked to in this whole hotel, you're the only one with a country accent. Yeah, that's and, weird. And you're a male, and you were the only one in the room that's a male. Right. right? From your phone with... Yeah. You get picking up on putting down? Yeah. So I would start being honest, because we already know what to do. All right? So you've been lying this whole time, and it's time to start being honest. I'm telling you, you're, not, not, you're not being honest. We're all being honest. I swear, I swear to God. Did something have you upset that you would call in something like that? Or? Nothing's had me upset. Has no. anybody else had your phone? No, unless one of the girls had it in there, but that's it. I mean, I how long? I didn't get any No, I hadn't even weeks. had it on today. So, so when the I mean, does a search warrant on your phone? And he don't your even phone have to do the search warrant. He can do it now. <laughs> So is he gonna find? Because it's not. It doesn't matter if you deleted numbers or whatever. Yeah. It's gonna pull up every single thing that you've done on that phone. Man, I swear to forever. Man, he can pull up search yeah. and search warrant or whatever he needs to do. He's I have to. I have not. You know, he don't even have to do a search warrant. Look it up. Can I ask you this? Why? Why when we told you you were gonna be questioned by the Myers and all that, taking over? So you didn't ask why. You didn't. Know. Nothing. No flag. Nothing. Like you did. Oh, okay. That's weird. Because if that was me and the cops were last thing I'm going to do is my, I'll call in a volunteer at the a fucking luminary hotel. You know? Why would somebody do that? I have no idea, bro. To be honest with you. Did you recognize the voice on the recording? Man, I heard it. It sounded something like me. I swear to God I got it. It sounded... Exactly like you. Okay, well, if it sounded exactly like me, that's fine, but I did not make that call back. I promise you, I did. Have you ever made calls like that in the past? Nope. Never made any kind of phone call like that in the past to anywhere? No. Has any? How long have you had that phone? Uh, a couple of weeks. I don't have any. That's me. Right. We all know what happened here tonight. Okay. okay. Well, you included. Up. No. I'm quite glad y'all finally know something, but uh, it wouldn't mean it all. So. That's the story, and you're sticking to it. That's fine. Um, you'll have your day in court. Uh, so y'all gonna arrest me? That's up to the detective. But okay, that's fine. That voice is very distinctive. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. And nobody else in here has the accent that you do. All right. Yeah. That's interesting, isn't it? That's very good. Have you ever been in trouble before? Oh, yeah. You have? For what? Uh, everybody saw it with the tent. They brought an arm cause death. Is that here in Florida? Tennessee, no. I've been in trouble for years. Though. So, uh, domestic violence, uh, a couple of speeding tickets, that's about it. Have you been just feeling kind of like down on your luck? Did you lose your job or something like that? Yeah, I mean, I 
got me down there, look. Yeah. Is it ready to go home? <laughs> Where's home? Tennessee. Tennessee. Tech. What part of Tennessee? Bowling. Okay. And as we know, I'm going to go to Bolivar or Memphis home. Gosh, so. have you ever stayed at the one there at all? No, I was uh, already moved back to Tennessee. Oh, yeah. Have you ever been inside there? I worked there. You worked there? Yeah, the uh, lead driver. That's who I was just working Oh, you lead drywall there? Yeah, okay. Lead, how how lead recent? What did you say? Lead? Lead, lead drywall. Lead drives the name of the company? Mitchell Lead. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, Mitchell okay. Lead. How long ago? Well, we were building that was a couple of years. Uh, three years ago. Oh, three years ago? Yeah. So. Gotcha. So we left. Come back, you know. Uh, how did how did that business go with them? Was he a good guy? Or? Oh yeah, he was a good guy. Yeah. He treated you well. Yeah. He paid you on time. All the only stuff. reason I didn't go back to work with uh, Lee now is because they took the motorcycle out of So he, kinda, he, re, he repossessed the motorcycle. Chuck, Chuck Manning. Oh, Chuck. Who's Chuck? The owner? Uh, no, Chuck Manning. Uh, motorcycle guy. Yeah. I bought a motorcycle for Chuck. So, Who's Chuck? The guy I used to live with, he works for Lee Driver. Oh, okay, gotcha. So, and he uh, repossessed it? Yeah. Well, he... it, me and him kind of had words, didn't really have words. Kind of went out for a couple of days, whatever. Didn't call him, you know. And, yeah. Uh, kind of got on my ass. I'm, I'm not your kid. How long man. ago was that? A couple of weeks ago. Oh, really? Does, does that guy like work at the Memorial Hotel currently? No. I guess he still works at Lee Driver. Oh, yeah. Does that company still do work for them? <coughs> no, they do work all over. Matter of fact, I think they do building right over there. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you have anything against them? Or, like, do, they, do they owe you money or anything like that? Yeah. Matter of fact, I just went and got my check from them the other day. I cashed it. Yeah, they're telling them something about the dollar checks. So. When's the last time you've been to them there? Uh, nice. Two or three years? Two years? Something like that? Been long. You don't think of the bar or anything? <laughs> Where would you put a bomb if you had to? I would. I would put You ever tampered with explosives before? Nope. Nothing? Never. Ever been in the military? Never made a homemade bomb before in my life? Nothing. Alright. Ever set a car on fire or anything? Nah. Future job or nothing? He used to do work at the open air hotel. Yeah, yeah, that's what you told me. Alright, so you guys got my cord? Do. Yes. We'll uh, get your statement to you. Do you just want the statement in the email or do you want to? Uh, Henry, Henry, whatever it is. Alright. Turn around, pull it up. Put your hands together like a prank. Don't move around until he tells you to, okay? okay. Alright, thank you for going over to Motel 6. For my kid. I'm going to step by my car. Know. Huh? That's my kid. Yeah, my son, Zachary. Why are you getting all upset with this car, bud? Something. We're going to go to the front here and just spread your legs. We're going to get all your stuff for you, too, alright, bro? Mom, probably sitting over in the door. So, are you upset? No, I'm not upset. About what? You know we can work with you, man. If you just well, you may work with me on what? If you just tell us the truth, man. What? Then why is everything I'm pointing towards you, bro? Fucking weak, man, bro. I'm over here. Okay. Fayette, right up there at the corner. You've never tried hurting yourself, have you? No. You don't feel like hurting others? Nope. Next one. What does it look like? Small guy? No. Right.